The 500k pots turned way too quickly. It was almost like an on off switch. So I'm gonna put in these 250k pots from scratch. And uh, different capacitors to see which one's the best. First thing to connect is the positive from the jack to the middle of the volume potentiometer. And the terminal on the left, it's connected to the positive on the pickup. Okay, the, the third thing I do is connect the remaining terminal on the volume pot to the back of the volume pot. Then you connect the negative from the pickup to that, and you connect the negative from the terminal to that, and you connect the ground to the back of the volume pot. Now the back of the pot goes to the negative on the jack. Nice and neat. The next thing to do is put in the tone pot. Next I put another wire from the middle terminal on the volume pot through a capacitor to the middle of the tone pot but I'm gonna temporarily set it up so I can try out a bunch of different capacitors. I'm connecting this extra long wire to this alligator clip. <laughs> clip is hot. Yeah, it's stuck on, like it's welded. So now I can connect different capacitors while playing, and I can try them out. Now I just have to connect the right outside terminal from the tone pot to the negative on the jack and to the ground, and then connect the negative on the jack also directly to the ground. Then I'll try out the caps. And the ground. Now we just gotta connect the negative terminal on the jack to the ground. They connected the final ground, got the alligator clips ready to test out these different capacitors and pick one to solder in. <laughs> Now with the point one. And next the point oh four seven. Point oh two two. Point oh 
point oh two seven. I decided to go with the 0.027 microfarads capacitor, a 63 volt one. Uh, it has a good travel for fine tuning, for adjusting. Uh, there's doesn't get much RFI and it doesn't have uh, the potential for the 50 or 60 cycle hum. Uh, you don't lose a lot of volume. The um, the quotient of the equalization is really good. Uh, the 0.027 is about the same as the 0.022. And really it sounds pretty similar to the 0.047, the more typical standard values of capacitors. But this one, uh, compared to the 22, it kind of goes up to 11. You can take out a little more of the high end. Whereas the, the 0.047 microfarads took out too much. It was really overkill. And, uh, you know, either of them would have been okay. Even the 0.1 microfarad would have been okay, but it takes out way more of the high end than you need. You get a little bit of volume loss. I think the higher value capacitors get a little more hum. And then fine tuning is not as good, depending on how they pair up with the pickup. Also, the, the fact that it's 63 volts means that if for some reason you plug it into phantom power, it won't blow the capacitor in some bizarre world if that happens. But all these values, 22, 33, 27, 47, etc., and different voltages, they probably all would work and sound pretty okay. But for the tone, for the adjustment, for the minimal noise, I think the, the 0.027 microfarad 63 volt is perfect for the pickup on the Delray. Okay, that's good. I'm gonna tuck it under here. Take this black wire off. The capacitor, where that was. Make sure everything's separate, nice and neat. Nothing's gonna touch and make a short circuit. Get a clip, clip the end here. Okay, everything's nicely connected. Nothing's coming into contact with anything that it shouldn't. And I think I'm all done. Always, when you take off your glasses, unplug the soldering iron. 